The State Department could be close to a deal to secure the release of WNBA star Brittany Griner and Marine veteran Paul Whelan from captivity in Russia. Now, there is speculation that it may involve an exchange for one of the world's most notorious arms dealer. His name is Victor Boot. He's now in U.S. custody for conspiring to support terrorism and conspiring to kill Americans. Christina Ruffini is following this story for us. Bringing people home, bringing Brittany home, bringing Paul home. This is something that we're focused on 24-7. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said his department laid out a substantial proposal to Moscow weeks ago, but would not say if progress has been made. This as detained WNBA star Brittany Griner testified for the first time Wednesday since she was jailed on drug charges. I did not plan or have the intent to bring any cannabis or banned substance to Russia. Griner has pleaded guilty and faces up to 10 years in prison, but said she brought prescription marijuana cartridges into the country by accident and claims she'd been forced to sign legal documents she didn't understand. We had to use my phone for and Google Translate for him to be able to tell me a little bit. I didn't know exactly what I was signing. My rights were never read to me. Uh, no one explained any of it to me. BG is probably the strongest person that I know. Earlier this month, CBS News spoke to Griner's wife, Sherelle, who at the time said she didn't feel the government was doing enough. Being quiet, they are not moving, they are not doing anything, and so, um, my wife is struggling. But yesterday's announcement marked a departure from the usual quiet diplomacy of hostage negotiation. I would tell you that uh, the, the offer has been uh, been made um, and uh, and uh, we certainly hope that uh, that Russia will uh, favorably engage on it. Administration officials would not respond to reports that the offer on the table includes a potential prisoner swap for the infamous international arms dealer Victor Boot a Russian national serving a 25-year prison sentence in the U.S. Boot earned the nickname Merchant of Death for his alleged role in providing weapons that fueled deadly conflicts across Africa. He oversaw operations capable of delivering enough weapons to launch rebellions, fuel revolutions, and slaughter untold thousands of people. He was an accessory to violence on a scale that is beyond comprehension. Now, until recently, state and DOJ sources told CBS News Boot was not on the table. He took years to catch, and he was simply too big of a get to give up. So if this is true, clearly that calculation has changed. Now, we should note that Whelan was convicted in 2020 on espionage, espionage charges, which he has denied. A lawyer for Victor Boot would not say if his client is part of the deal, and the Kremlin says no deal has been made, but negotiations are ongoing. Of course, Boot has long maintained his innocence regarding the charges against him. Yeah, the nickname merchant of death doesn't sound so great. I would imagine some people would say that's not a fair swap, but if it was your family member, I would be thinking... And that's always the calculation. Yeah. The families want them to do anything to get their loved ones out, and then there's national security implications if they release somebody like this. Yeah. Right. We'll continue that conversation. Thank you, Christina.